Imagine you are trees. Feel your roots run deep, deep down into the ground. Look, Maya, that one looks like a hippopotamus. Yeah, and that one looks like a dentist lost in deep thought. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, I don't like you hanging out with Maya. She's weird. We're just playing. We're finding shapes in the clouds. <laughs> clouds just look like clouds. Well, like cotton, maybe. Or like cotton candy. That one's kind of like a dishwasher, right? No way. It's obviously a jet ski. Shh. Oh, well seen, Mr. Ball. See you tomorrow, hazelnuts. And don't forget, laziness is just meditation in disguise. It was nice talking to you. <laughs> oh, no. Now your nutcase girlfriend knows my secret. No one can know Erico Platana has been turned into a ball. Don't worry. If anyone knows how to keep quiet, it's Maya. Mom, Dad, Daniel Soccer Ball can talk. Oh, no, I got it wrong. It's Tamea who never talks. You know that things can't talk, darling. I swear. Show them, Daniel. Yeah! <laughs> it's it's a game we made up. Hey there, pals, it's Mr. Ball. What's up? Nobody talks for real. Tell them, Daniel. Let's go, Maya. Say goodbye to your friend. Goodbye, Daniel. What's with that voice? I don't talk like that. Come on, hazelnuts. These crab apples won't transplant themselves. Mm -hmm. Maple, where's Maya? Well, her parents have pulled her out of the club. They think the hazelnuts are a bad influence on her. <gasps> and when I say the hazelnuts, I mean one person in particular. And when I say one person in particular, I mean you, Daniel. But don't take it personally. Oh no, Erico! What have I done? It's better this way. Your girlfriend is as batty as they come. <laughs> I mean, come on. The whole talking ball business, it's a bit... Uh... But you are a talking ball! I am? Uh, yeah, 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 I am. We've got to get Maya back on the team. My prize from the baby beauty pageant, my vaccination records, and a reference letter from my mom. So, can Maya come back to the hazelnuts? We may have been too quick to judge you. Hey there! I'm Mr. Ball! Remember me? <laughs> Why the long faces, Mr. and Mrs. Sad Sacks? Somebody stole your smiles! Stop it, Erico! This isn't me, I swear! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> See how annoying that voice is? Why did you do that? Because of you, I might never see Maya again! All the better for you, Daniel. Maya's a good. You'll never be a winner if you hang around with people like her. If you don't want me to talk to Maya, then I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, go on and sulk. We'll see who gives up first. And then I told him the only way your jersey's getting soaked is if we play in the rain. <laughs> huh? It's a good one, right, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate pistachio, your favorite, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I discard my doggy bone card and win again. What do you say to that, huh? Huh? Talk to me! Say something! Anything! That's it. You're upsetting me. I'm going shopping. <laughs> Who does he think he is? You don't ignore me, I ignore you. Wow. A little wink.
things on the back is maybe a bit. <laughs> but then again, the sequins on the tongue. What am I thinking? I can't wear those. They're too weird. Hi, <laughs> Mr. Ball. Whoa, cool shoes. Did you get them? What? Me in those? Nah. Me? Nah. Me? I said the same thing about my frog sweater, but now it's my favorite. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Ball! I forbid you from not hanging out with Maya. She's amazing! For real? Thanks, Erico! <laughs> whoa, 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 easy, champ. We still need to win over her parents. But how are we gonna do that? We'll show them that they have their own little strangeness, too. Then they won't have any reason to stop you from seeing her. But they don't seem strange at all. Believe me, Daniel. Everyone's got a frog sweater or winged sneakers hidden away somewhere. <laughs> Trust me, I've got a plan. Hello, I'm the plumber. We didn't call a plumber. You didn't? Oh, my bad. Ha. Well, now that I'm here, let's uh, let's have a coffee. <laughs> Erico, no offense, but is that the plan? While I'm distracting the parents, you rummage through their bedroom and find their weird stuff. for weird stuff about your parents. Shh. Okay. Pretty cups you've got here. What's that? Uh, porcelain? Crazy weather out there. First it's hot, then it's cold. <laughs> How do you dress for that, huh? So anyway, you two been together for long? I'm calling the police. Nothing! There's nothing! It's no use, Daniel. My parents are really square. They even iron their socks. Are all your books instruction manuals? Yes. No way! Don't they have a secret cupboard or drawer? Hmm? Grandma's hat box! Nice decor! Is it Swedish? Yes, still here. He's wearing a fake mustache. Come quick. Okay, you got me. I have a fake mustache. I'm self-conscious about my upper lip. I didn't hear anything. Do you hear something? <gasps> Daniel? Too late! I know your secret! In Grandma's hat box, there is... A hat? Mother's hat. Oh. Good job, Daniel. Bravo. I couldn't find anything weird, Erico. The only painting on the wall was a painting of a wall. We tried. That can't be right. Everyone has a wacky side, a loose screw. Everyone's a bit cuckoo. <gasps> Erico, what are you doing? I know what your quirk is. It's Maya. She's your pair of winged sneakers. Oh, yeah, that's it! What you're trying to hide is Maya! I know it worries you that Maya isn't just like everybody else, but that's what makes her so great! Without Maya, life would be so much less surprising! You should be proud of her and let her be herself! I think the boy and the strange plumber are right. Does this mean I can go back to the hazelnuts? <laughs>
That one looks like me on a yacht. Oh, and that one's me on a sailboat. And that one's a glass blower at his son's birthday party. Yeah. What? His son is a dinosaur? Oh. oh. Wow. Look, Maya, it kind of looks like your parents paragliding on a giant cow. Hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Parents. Oh, I love Struck Street Lamp! Okay, Hazelnuts, gather round. I've got some exciting news. Oh, am I the new team captain? Captain! Daddy! Um, uh, not quite, Stephen. The mayor's office is looking for a young athlete for their new billboard campaign. Who would like to help promote an active lifestyle? Hmm? No way, Daniel. I'm not gonna play ball in some public ad campaign. Did someone say, hmm? handsome athlete? Oh, and what's that? The new official pro league football? Crystal. Crystal? <laughs> How pretentious. Oh. Twelve hand-sewn panels for extra precise trajectories. Micro-textured exterior for better ball control. Fully inflated on delivery. Oh. No one overshadows Platana. <laughs> What's the matter, Sisu? You think you're better than me with your beach ball? <laughs> now come on, Hazelnuts. Let's all be good sports. Yeah, with the duel and lasers and explosions! And snakes! Ooh! Stop. Violence is never the answer. But we can easily sort this out in a fair and fun way. On your mark, stars of the future! Boom! Boom! You said there'd be lasers! The first one to cross the finish line gets their face on the billboard. Hang on! Hmm? Wait for me! Uh, Steven? Yeah, that's me. Ah! You're covered in bugs! Oh, this? It's nothing special, just my old lucky football. They're more scared of you than you are of them. Hmm. Erico, we're gonna play together! Focus, Daniel. You have to win the head game first. Tackle your opponent's mind. Nice hairdo. Tell me, do they make those for football players? <laughs> you know, I always thought you were a decent player. A flute player! <laughs> Number 10. <laughs> More like zero! <laughs> ah, I made a lot of players cry. Okay, let's go. I'll psych out Crystal, you deal with Larry. Ah, Crystal! Neon color, huh? Classy. For a bowling ball! Ah, Larry. Nice sweatshirt. A real champion sweatshirt. I guess it's fair since you're our best striker. Hey, don't you ignore me! Do you know who I am? And our best defender, and our best goalie. Don't know what to say, huh? Ha! That's more like it. You smell good, too. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Set! Larry and Daniel, I guess there's no choice. Get ready for the intermediate level course. <laughs> no one ties Platana. No one. Plan B. We bribe Larry and Crystal to let us win. Uh, isn't that cheating? Cheating, cheating. Let's not get carried away. Erico. Daniel. <laughs> 
fine. You win, Eriko. Um, mm, mm. handsome. <laughs> what are you doing here, Sisu? I've got a deal for you, Larry. Would you let me win if I gave you a cookie? No. All right, listen up. I need you to abandon the next race. Do we understand each other? What? Not enough for you? You know what tastes good with a cookie? A big glass of cold milk. Deal? Deal. One born every second. I'll just leave this here and see you out on the field. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm? On your mark, future stars. Boo! You said there'd be explosions. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steven, you can have another try. Ready, set. <laughs> That's not cool! We had a deal! Well, I guess there's only one other way. What a race! <laughs> ah, too many bugs! Another tie? You're going to drive me nuts! I didn't want it to come to this, but I guess it's time for the advanced level course. Yeah! We have no choice, Daniel. Plan C. You attack me, and we blame Larry. You ready? What? Do it! Don't overthink it. I can't do it, Erico. I just can't! Come on, don't be shy. <laughs> no! I can't hurt my best friend! Daniel! Come back! Oh, man. That does it. Plan D. We eliminate Crystal. Yeah, too old. Bald. Too classic. Oh, here we go. This guy's a real pro. Uh... Hey, what about the check? Mm -hmm. And the tip? <laughs> Lying low before the final, huh? Sorry, kiddo, but you've already lost. No hard feelings. You're a tough one, aren't you? You remind me of when I was starting out. I had a fluorescent period, too. We'll show that old ball. That's what real friends do. They fight together to the end. You just start in your career and bam. You come up against me. I mean, I've never lost a game, ever. So a public ad campaign, <laughs> what do I care? Hey, that's right. I don't care. I finally understand, Eriko. I'm sorry. If you really want to win, I'm here for you. No. Wait, Daniel. I've changed my mind. I don't care about winning. Crystal needs this victory more than we do. See you. That's great. Now we can do the last race just for fun. Yeah, Daniel. I may have gone a tiny bit too far. <laughs> Boo! You said there'd be snakes. Wait! Wait! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drop out of the race, Crystal! It's a matter of life or death! Drop out of the race, Larry! It's a matter of life or death! Let go of me, Sisu! Ready? <laughs> Set! Get back to it. Uh, are you really okay, Erico? No, nasty beast. 
Let's get back to it. together, wasn't it? Okay, but it's the last time, Daniel. The last time. <laughs> oh, wow! Tell me about that one. Again? You know that story by heart. Oh, come on, please! Oh, fine, okay. <clears throat> In 2011, Platana's hairstyle not only shocked millions of spectators, it also completely reinvented Mohawk sideburns. Mohawk sideburns? Hmm. You know, speaking of hairstyles, Daniel, it's about time we take care of yours. Really? But, uh, Mom is the one who cuts my hair. Oh, Daniel, Daniel. Don't you think the greatest football player on the planet would also be the greatest hairstylist on the planet? Hmm? Uh, okay. Oh, I knew you'd come to your senses. So, given the shape of your head, we're gonna have to be a little creative. Hmm. Good morning, world. Good morning, my little kettle. Good morning, my little squashes. <laughs> Good morning, my lower back. Good morning, my little cup. Oh, 3 p.m. already? Time to get ready for practice. Good afternoon, my little hazelnuts. Say, where's Daniel? You look like a kneecap that tried to grow a beard. <laughs> <laughs> you look like an old fogey trying to look younger. <laughs> you know who you look like? You look exactly like... Oh. <laughs> today's, today's practice is canceled. I'm just not fitting up to it. <laughs> Maple, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to make fun of you. <laughs> oh. Nice work, <laughs> Sisu. Now Maple will never want to coach us again. He always tied my laces for me. <laughs> he always made the coolest cupcakes. <laughs> Where are we gonna get a new coach now? <laughs> when they assigned this team to me, everyone said it was a lost cause. Who are you? Boy, were they ever wrong. You guys stink, but that's about to change. I'm gonna turn you into champions. <laughs> Any questions? Uh... You're off the team! Everyone else, ten laps! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you sure you know what you're doing, Eriko? Uh, you never coached a team before. Daniel, shh, <laughs> Daniel. Has it ever occurred to you that the greatest football player and hairstylist on the planet would also be a champion coach? Ah, uh, is champion coach a thing? Hey! 
Don't think I can't see you dragging your feet! I'm gonna sculpt your pudgy little bodies into winning machines! Thirsty? A real champion licks the dew off the field! You're off the team! Hey, what's this? You're off the team! Maya, what do you think of the new coach? She's an insecure tyrant who will drive us into utter chaos and disaster. Maya, is that Velcro laces I see on your shoes? You're off the team! Have fun without me! That's enough! Eriko, we need to talk. You're off the team! Oh, it's you. Sorry, Daniel. Uh, so, what's up? You can't just get rid of everyone. I'm the only one left! Ah, uh, no. There's still, um, uh, Steven? Hm. You're off the team! Oh, well, uh, if they don't have what it takes, we'll just buy better players. Is that it? I told you we had no money. No one is that broke. Maple must have stashed some cash somewhere. <laughs> So what do we have here? Nothing. 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 Oh, there has to be something. How can somebody be this broke? Seriously. <gasps> Erica, wait! We need to get the hazelnuts to come back. What? Never. Changing your mind makes you look weak. We need them! Trust me! It's never too late to put the pieces back together. Erico, they're all back! Yeah, now we can get back to practice. No, Erico! You might be the greatest football player in the world, but Maple is a better coach than you! Are you kidding? Maybe one day you'll be a great coach, but right now we need to find Maple. Hey, good morning, world. Watch up, hot chat. Nice dive. Hey, Hansel. Hop back at you. Hiya, Sylvia. How you doing? Hey. What's the best way to make a small fortune in the stock market? Start off with a big fortune. <laughs> <laughs> good one, Patrick. Good one. Bye, bye. Sell, sell! Bye, for goodness sake! Maple, hmm? you hear? Wow, Maple! Daniel? We're sorry about everything. Is everything okay, Michael? Children aren't allowed on the sales floor. Everything's fine, Jane. I've got it under control. We're sorry about everything, Maple. That's not my name anymore, Daniel. I've left that life behind me. And here we go! We're really sorry, Maple! Really, really sorry! <laughs> Is everything okay, Michael? We failed! 
Maple isn't coming back. No more hazelnuts. No more, no <laughs> more hazelnuts. Bye. Hmm? Aww. Guys? Wait up! Maple? I'll never abandon you again. <laughs> the program today is... Meditation and Tribal Percussion. Yay! <laughs> well, my work here is done. I'm leaving. Wait, 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 wait. Don't I get a song? <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Coach. We sure had fun, but now, now it's, it's done. done. Now it's done! Yeah. Make me proud, kids. And don't forget, never give away my autograph for free. No way! I know. At that price, it's a steal! No! That guy over there! That's the sorcerer who turned me into a ball! Some faces you never forget. <laughs> Let's get out of here before he sees us. That guy is insane! Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sorcerer. Lettuce or toaster? Hmm? Hmm. Ah. Why not both? Hmm. <laughs> Thank you, boy. You're crazy to go talk to him. I mean, have you seen that guy? He does seem a little weird. But if we ask him nicely, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. A little weird? A little weird? <laughs> Excuse me, but I think this is my car. <laughs> I always forget. I don't have a car. <laughs> Sick? A little weird. Maybe he's in a really big hurry. Stop making excuses for him! That's right, enough excuses. Who are we talking about? Ah! Hey, I know you. You were at the supermarket. Don't you recognize me? Hmm? Erico Platana. Hmm. The best footballer in the world? Hmm. You turned me into a ball! <laughs> you ruined my life! Nah, still nothing. Why don't you join me for dinner? <laughs> I do love company. Okay, you created the version, and I'll escape through the window to get help. That's rude, Erico. If we're nice and polite, I'm sure he'll give you your body back. <laughs> It's a family recipe. 
dark meat or light meat? Bon appetit. Are you kidding? Come on! Mmm, tasty but light. Someone's watching their waistline. What a night. You'll have to give us that recipe. Aww, you're just saying that. <laughs> Let's do this again soon, yeah? Good night, Mr. Sorcerer. You are amazing, Eriko. Another evening like that, and I'm sure he'll give you your body back. Or maybe we take matters into our own hands. Into our own hands? Because I've got his hands. Get it? You stole his hands? Stole? More like Bara. We need to give them back right away! Don't worry, he won't even notice. I mean, the guy is a bit... But you don't even know how to use them! No, I'm sure it's gonna work. Like magic. Because they're magic hands. Get it? Howdy! It's always a pleasure to see new faces in this town. Oh, yeah, it's a quiet neighborhood. I like small towns. You know, it's just more friendly. Well, maybe a little training wouldn't hurt. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. You go first, Eriko. Okay, here we go. Transform jet ski. Jet ski! Jet ski! Jet ski! Mamma mia! Yeah, spaghetti! It's not working, Eriko. It's never too late to apologize. We can still work this out. Thanks to the power of apology. Hmm, maybe you're right, Daniel. Maybe you're jet ski! <laughs> Uh, Erico, what have you done? <laughs> Nothing. Don't worry. I'll fix that. Jet ski. Ah, there it is. Erico. What's going on? Oh, no! We broke the hands! What are we gonna do, Erico? Nothing, Daniel. I think this is our life now. We'll just have to get used to it. Hmm. Forget it, forget it, this'll never work. Let's give the hands back and apologize. We've got no choice. Hmm, maybe that's not a bad idea. The power of apology. Ooh, I'm in a really, really bad mood. Okay, it was a terrible idea. What do you want? It's Daniel. Oh, new hairstyle. No. We stole your hands and I was turned into a rare fish of the deep! Ah! 
You... you're not mad at us? No. I'll just banish you to another dimension for eternity! <laughs> but you can come back on weekends and school vacations. <sighs> but the tickets will be very expensive and the seat's really uncomfortable! <laughs> Stop! It's not his fault. I stole the hands. Leave him alone. It takes some nerve to dare to steal my hands. And a good deal of courage to own up to it. Does... does that mean you forgive us? Nah, it means I'm gonna punish both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no more battery. Don't worry, this will just take a moment. Then I'll punish you. Uh, is anybody hungry? Anyone gonna finish the pasta salad? No thanks, I'm all done. Ah, we're good! They're fully charged! Punishment time! <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, I forgive you. I've stolen a hand or two as well in my time. It's about time. I never want to see that awful guy in a bathrobe ever again. <laughs> yeah, I know. He also has terrible breath. And talk about a hunchback. Hmm? Oh, what I meant was... Huh. Hey, you think it's too late to apologize? Hmm. And that is why you should never try to ferment your own tofu. All right, kids? What does ferment mean? What does tofu mean? Who's gonna coach us now? <laughs> hey, uh, hazelnuts! Ready to go nuts with Coco the Squirrel? What kind of joke is this? Whew! They asked me to fill in for Coach Maple. How great is that? Football, my mom, and my ball! Best day ever! Hold on there, Daniel. Mixing business and family is never a good idea. Ever! As your new coach, I'm naming D -D 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 Daniel as our new team captain! Whoa! But he's already captain? Uh, he is? Well, now he can be Super Captain! Ah! All right, Hazelnuts, it's time to do some laps. Ready to set the pace, Super Captain? I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you're okay? Nothing about this seems weird to you? No. Why? Smoothie? No, not smoothie. Ever since your mom showed up, you haven't moved a finger. How am I supposed to get my body back if you don't train? Hey, that's not fair. I'm training just as hard as everyone else. Mm. Come on, hazelnuts! Give it up for your super captain! It's me! It's me! Dave, you're the super captain! Yeah. Just you wait, Super Captain. Great work today, Hazelnuts. Great work! A great warm-up for tomorrow when we get down to business. Down to business! <sighs> I just can't do this anymore. My knees are killing me. You know whose knees aren't hurting? Daniel. I've never felt so tired in my life. You know who isn't tired? 
Daniel. Oh no, my battery's dead. You know who doesn't need batteries? Daniel! What's up, Hazelnut? Are you ready to have fun? Hey, what's the matter? We're on strike. We're not moving until you stop giving Daniel special treatment. Special treatment? Special treatment. What? It's not like he's the coach's pet or anything. Oh, yeah? Then how do you explain the big whistle? Hmm. And the brioche? Hmm. They're right, Mom. We're a team. You have to treat me the same as everyone else. Goodbye, Mr. Whistle. <laughs> You're right. I'm sorry. From now on, no more special treatment. Okay? Yeah! Okay, everyone! Give me three laps on the field in rhythm! And, sweetie pie, ten for you. What? You earned your mom! Go, go, go! Good job, sweetie. But as you're the last to finish, it's three more laps for you. <laughs> what a woman. And five, six, seven, eight! I haven't seen a drop of rain in months. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Footballs. <laughs> Rats, who's going to fetch all those balls? Hmm. Now that's what I've got, Team Spirit, sweetie. And remember, Mommy loves you! Oh. Don't sweat it. It's part of the process. Look, do you want to be a great football player or what? I think I liked it better when my mom was just my mom. Don't you dare. Your mother is the best thing that ever happened to this team. <sighs> if you say so. Well, I better go polish my pom-poms. Yeah, that's the spirit. Go shine those pom-poms. Wait, what? You know, for the rehearsal tomorrow. Yeah, uh, you mean training. Nah, Mom definitely said rehearsal. I've got to learn all the song and dance moves, too. Five, six, seven, eight. Good grief, how did I miss this? Stay in time Stay together. together. Five, Five, six, seven, eight. eight. Ready to go nuts with Go Go the Squirrel? Corina's turning the hazelnuts into mascots, not players. Mascots? Why not referees while you're at it? I knew it. Your mother is the worst thing that ever happened to this team. But you just said... I say a lot of things, okay? Now we gotta ditch your mom and get Maple back. Thanks for stopping by, Daniel. I'm feeling better already. Uh, great. I'll let you get some rest then. He can't hear you anymore. He's only conscious for around 15 seconds per day. So young. Nah, you can never count on Maple. We're gonna need a plan B. Good work, sweetie! One more lap! Was that lap 66 or 67? I've lost count. You know who hasn't lost count? Daniel. I really like this lemonade. You know who doesn't have any lemonade? Daniel. It's such a nice day. You know who's not having a nice day? Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> Mrs. Coco the Squirrel, we think you're being a bit... We think you're being a bit hard on Daniel. Hmm. We feel bad seeing him suffer all alone like this. You're right. From the start, I've been leading this team astray. It's time I took the situation in hand! Five, six, seven, eight! Nuts and hazelnuts, pump those pom poms! Hmm, nasty piece of work, that squirrel. But still, what a woman. <sighs> Your mom sure is a tough nut to crack, huh? Well, this has gone on long enough. 
You have to tell her to go. What? I can't do that. She's my mom. Can't I just find another team? No, you cannot find another team. Oh, well. Looks like Mom's going to be coaching us forever. Puh. I really have to do everything myself around here. Hello? Get me Longtooth and Knuckle Joe. I have a job for them. Hey, Squirrel. Uh. Came down from your high branch all alone, uh. did ya? Uh. We need to have a little chat. You gotta come back to the team. We need you. Don't worry. All I need is a little more herbal tea, and I'll be wiggling around like a mountain goat in no time. <coughs> it's no. okay, Daniel. I took care of it. Gee, thanks, Erico. That's great! What do you mean you took care of it? I had a couple of guys come by to convince your mom to resign. <laughs> Relax. Those guys are pros. <laughs> Hey! We said not the costume! Go on! Beat it! Whew. It's hot in there. Mom! <gasps> Mom, I was so scared! Don't worry, sweetie. It'll take more than those cowards to stop me from training you guys. Well, about that... I think I liked it better when Maple was our coach. I mean, I still love you. I like it better when you're just... Mom. <sighs> Phew. Thank you, Daniel. Football really isn't my thing. We've got to promise each other something, okay? From yeah. this moment on, we tell each other what we really think! Yeah! And now... I have to announce my resignation to the team. Daniel, good to see you. Told you the tea would work. <gasps> Yay! Yay! <sighs> All right, ready to train, guys? Goodbye, hazelnuts. Goodbye, Goodbye Coco Squirrel. Okay, guys, I'm leaving. Ah, uh, red light. Oh, green light. See you next time. Okay, back to business. Everyone grab your puppets. It's artistic expression time. Oh no. Not the puppets. This case is really bugging me, Constable Bamboo. No use getting a bee in your bonnet, my dear earwig. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, sweetie. <gasps> Daniel, I asked you to vacuum the apartment. Oh, yeah. I got it out, but then I got caught up pretending it was an elephant. Oh, never mind. Brush your teeth, go to the bathroom, and then straight to bed, okay? Mom needs to rest her eyes for five minutes. <laughs> Elementary, my dear Earwig. The culprit was... Hey! They were about to reveal who did it! I bet it was Mrs. Ladybug. Shh! Mom is really tired when she gets home from work. Tired? Tired? From playing squirrel all day? Sorry, but that's not what I call a real job. Hey, I'll have you know Mom works really hard. And she also does the laundry, the shopping, the cleaning... <laughs> Try being a world champion. Now that's a lot of work. Taking care of your skin, keeping your agent in line, taking selfies. You have no idea. You wouldn't last two hours in Mom's shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get up, Daniel. There we go. It's five in the morning. Mom will be waking up soon. Not today, Daniel. 
Not today. You unplugged her alarm? Shh. Today, you and I are going to play squirrel. What? But that's mom's job. We can't do that. If your mom can do it, how hard can it be? Hey! What? Hmm, vacation. Cruise ship in the tropics. All inclusive. Well, maybe mom could use a little time off. Okay then, Eriko. But we've got to nail this. No way are we going to get Mom in any trouble. Don't worry. By day's end, everyone's going to respect Mr. Squirrel. <laughs> Delicious chocolate cocoa squares. A balanced breakfast with vitamins B12, B14, and B17. Hey, what kind of hellhole is this? It's Mom's job. We need to sell all of these boxes of cereal, Erico. People pay to eat this? Yes, Erico. Because the secret to a balanced breakfast is delicious chocolate cocoa squares. <laughs> hey, this ain't so bad. <laughs> Erico, what are you doing? Hmm, you're right. What am I doing? This would taste a lot better with some milk. We're supposed to sell them, not eat them. I'm just having one last bowl. Hang on. They have toys inside? Yeah, but it's not for you, Erico. It's for the kids. Mosquito claw again? Man, it's clown tooth that I need. Hey, pass me another box there, Daniel. That was the last one, Erico. You've cleared the entire shelf. There are none left. Clown tooth. Don't do it. That's stealing. A mosquito claw again. And boom. We get to go home early. Who's the man now? We got fired, Erico. No, we didn't. We quit. Okay, whatever. Hurry up, Erico. We can't be late for Mom's second job. Yeah, her what? An all-you-can-eat seafood buffet for free. You're the host with the most, Captain. Oh, Captain. Wrenches, nails! Don't miss our half-price sale! Daniel, remind me, what are we doing here again? It's Mom's second job. You have to point the arrow towards the hardware store to attract customers. Uh. Who rocks mics till they bust and swell, Joe? It's just another fact of life for me, really. All around town, people trying to get down. Whoa! I love these guys. I don't know what they're selling, but I'll buy it pronto. Wow! They're good! Finally, a real challenge. <laughs> Hang in there, Daniel. I'll show you how to dance with an arrow. Okay, plan B. We get rid of the competition. But they're just doing their job. Boo! You call that dancing? What's up, you big chicken? You wanna dance? Come on, then. Come on! Erico, no! Don't start trouble! What are you scared of? Of a big owl? And a weasel? Who rocks mics till they bust as well, Joe? Did you see the thrashing we gave them? Erico, they kicked our butt and we got fired! Yeah, well, frankly, your mom should thank us. Arrow twirler. What's up with that? I hope things go better at the next job. Wait, there's a next job? Oh, Captain, you're terrible. Look out! Iceberg dead ahead! Iceberg? Iceberg? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday. It's a snake. I wanted a tiger. Okay, who's next? I want a dinosaur. I want a pony. And here's a triangle. Okay, another snake. Snakes for everyone. Aww. Aww.
it go. At least make an effort. They don't seem very happy. Ah, don't worry. We'll redeem ourselves with the cake. Hurry up, Daniel. We haven't got all day. We need to do a good job. It's Timmy's birthday. Yeah, well, Timmy will have other birthdays. And I'm tired. Happy birthday to you! Ah! <laughs> Do you smell something burning? Ah! <laughs> it's all right, everybody! Ah! Okay, so playing squirrel's not so easy. We got fired again, and Mom's costume is ruined! Yeah, am I glad this day is finally over? Are you kidding? We still need to go cheer on the hockey team, sell tickets at the theme park, walk dogs, prune trees, clean the sewers, and drive this bus. And careful with the paint job. Fired! 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 <sighs> it's just you and me now, Christelle. If we want to get out of here, we gotta stick together. We'll need to find food. Can't feel my legs. Mom lost all of her jobs because of us. Empty? No clean clothes? And nobody vacuumed? I told you, Erico. On top of her work, Mom also does the shopping, the cleaning, and the washing. <gasps> you mean she does all that by herself every day? Mm hmm. Your mother is a saint, Daniel. But now she's going to wake up to a filthy apartment. Mm hmm With no costume. Mm hmm And no job. Mm hmm Nah, I'm sure she'll manage. <clears throat> we got to make this right, huh? I was just too thirsty. <laughs> we did it, Daniel. We finally did it. Yeah, but there's still the shopping, the cleaning, and the laundry. <sighs> Okay, five minute break and then we'll go make breakfast. <sighs> okay. <sighs> oh, I slept so well. Oh no! I slept so well! <coughs> oh, it's okay. I'm not late. Wow! Thank you for doing the vacuuming, sweetie. Daniel Sisu shoots. And he scores! A oh, nice jacuzzi. Does it come gold-plated? 